hello good afternoon everyone today we are gonna learn how to make a rim light effect by using a remap utility that is using a remap utility and connecting into the directional light so that's the that's that's all that's what we are gonna learn okay now what's an advantage and of using that now let me check this rim now see now this rim effect has been made not through a shader but by through a light by you know breaking the algorithm of that light and telling the light to act according to the utility which has been connected on the attributes the utility which we are going to use is a remap so remap and ramp both are the same if, if you see so remap gives you a range from 0 to 1 even the ramp gives you a range from 0 to 1 so remap is just a, just an additional utility by your like you know extra attributes to connect on so what's the advantage the advantage of this is like you know either the the anything that is going in the shadow region won't be affecting you know won't be won't be uh, illuminating those parts so if i connect this through a shader without a light what's going to happen is like you know the entire object like which is the the teeth the tongue the eyes they are all going to you no, know, give me kind of an effect of a rim which I don't need, right? So I just want on those on the opposite of the key. I just need a sharp rim. So that's an advantage of using by by using through a light and and a disadvantage of going through a shader. So now let's see how you're gonna make this cool. Now first of all, what I need here is I need okay. Let's open an hyper shade, minimize, and let me check a directional light first here. Cool. Now uh, I'll just go to render settings. I'll use an HD image. Let's just you know, get it clear. Cool. Now let me create a polygon sphere. I'm oh, sorry, polygon cylinder here. And anything that I'm gonna render now, for example, my light is you now facing through the camera. So this is how it's looking. Okay. Now guys, uh, let's check into this. Now this is my you know what I would say the pivot. I would say. That's the y axis, that's the x axis, and this is the z axis that is towards the camera and facing through the camera. That would be calling the z axis. So now, okay, now let me create a let me you know, make a remap utility or let, let us call that now. Okay, now I need one more utility. So anything, as I told you, like you know, this is the y, this is the x, and this is the z. So anything that you have to play with the camera, the utility comes up is a sampler info and set range, but it's like you know what sample info does is it like it only samples those points which are facing towards the camera or which are facing away from the camera so that's that's what you know the facing ratio and the sample info does basically so so now uh, that's the reason i'm going to use sample info but but the main reason here is like you know uh, light also detects camera and the light goes through a camera angle light it shoot rays from pin hole of your camera right so that's what light does and even uh, that's how everything calculates so anything that is related to camera we have to use this and let me you now first change the attribute of rim i'll just i'll just show you why i'm doing this tell you why am i going to do this okay, smooth and i'm going to keep this smooth cool so i got a smooth attenuation here now let me uh, create some extra attributes on lights so to create an extra at attributes what i'm going to do here is go into attributes go into add attributes going to let let me name this as start anything you, you feel like guys you can you can name the attributes that's up to totally up to you so i'm going to go for float and i'm going to keep this because the first alphabet would be caps lock so it's nothing nothing related to this. either you want to keep this on either you want to keep this off it's up to you guys but uh, this override nice name you have to keep it on when you are going to make an MI label so MI label counts up a lot so that's a different part let's not get that check it okay, let's keep it on and then create an attribute called N add now if you check here guys the attributes are getting created right so now I have to add more attributes like sensi or a nice name add then comes the intensity that is the I am not gonna control anything through here whatever I am gonna control is through here so it's like an additional attribute that I am creating cool rim intensity cool and I am gonna keep this on cool. and I am also gonna create a few more attributes like start intensity it's totally up to you guys whichever name you feel like making it up 
So it's not something like you know you have to go with this kind of a namespace. So density, uh, that's totally up to you. Okay, let me sorry. Can see. Put this on. Add now. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep this as 0 0.5 and 1 remain density 1 and sensor 3. So check this now. I'm gonna connect those adder attributes into the remap. That is into the values. Now what are the values? Values are like here. If you check this input and output range, so these are all gonna affect according to those. So I'm uh, so I don't need to go inside this and keep on changing the values. I can change the values through here. That's gonna affect this and this. No, it's like giving an additional control to the user. Like you know, I have this attributes in the lights instead of going into the remap and changing each and every time. The, that's an advantage of making an attribute. Cool. Now if I go to start, I'm gonna connect this to value zero one, and gonna connect this to value one. And if I go, and again I'm going to go to start intensity, value zero. You change this. See the attributes are getting changed. See. And the reason why, because I kept my start intensity to three, so now the value which is three is getting feeded here. So that's the reason I said why I'm going to do that. Get intensity to value one now. Okay. Now the main thing is the camera which we were talking about. So again, we are talking about here normal camera that is the X Y Z axis. So I'm going to connect the Z. The reason is I'm going to tell the light like you know whichever is facing through the z axis you should not eliminate this but you should not eliminate that but whichever is facing against the z axis you should be eliminating those parts that's the reason i'm going to do guys now this is the main tricky part this is the main reason you're going to connect normal z to the input value of this okay now let me connect the out value no sorry now still more connections to be made i'm sorry and uh, the remain density the sensi is going to be connected to the input max Okay, and as rim intensity, that the intensity is going to be connected to the output value. Simple. Now, connect the rim out value because whatever changes we are doing is not doing in the colors. We are doing in the values. So we should not be connecting an out color to this. We should be connecting an out value. The reason, okay, is because again I am saying we are doing changes in the values. So out value. Guys, let me get this clear. Out value is a scalar attribute, and uh, colors is a vector attribute. So it's it has RGB. Scalar is like integers or values or something else. Okay, out value will be connected to the intensity. Cool. Now let me check the render. Give the image. See? Wow. Now this is acting. As I told you, the z-axis part, it's, it's eliminating those part which are facing towards the z-axis not through the z-axis no it's like against the z-axis sorry let me rectify that against the z-axis not through the z-axis cool now why it's getting me so you no know, the the if i want to increase the rim overall fall off or something i'm gonna go here go inside that but i'm gonna make it up 0, 0 0.8 and i'm gonna increase my intensity to 1.4 now let me check cool now i can increase the fall off cool now if I want to increase the intensity, I can increase my intensity through here. I'm gonna keep it to see the intensity is getting increased. Now if I want to decrease the starting intensity, that is so I'm gonna decrease it to here. And I'm gonna keep this cool. See, the overall starting intensity is getting decreased. So this is the tricky, this is the trick part of using a remap and a breaking the algorithm of a light. Now if I keep the light in this position. I'm gonna render it out. It's gonna give me this. So the best way I love this. I love this utility. I don't know why, guys. I think you guys should try this and you guys should go ahead with this. You know, this is the best rim light technique I can tell you guys for mental ray. I think I'm not won't be supporting a remap utility, but still. But when you go for any other engines like MR or something, then yes, you know, this is the best way of making a rim light technique. And I just love this. So go ahead, guys. Uh, Keep on doing R&Ds and keep on doing hard works and all the best. Thank you. Thank you for watching this.